And today, the chairman of the Uhuru House is set to give an explanation on why it was raided last July. And on your side, Nicole Rogers joining us live right now in St. Petersburg with an update. Nicole, what can we expect to hear about this investigation? Dan Avery, good morning. The leaders of the Uhuru movement are expected to shed some light on what they know about the FBI investigation that all began when this indictment was unsealed last year, which led FBI agents to raid this house right behind me. The FBI raided the Uhuru house in the homes of several key leaders back in July as part of an investigation into the Uhuru's interaction with the Russian government. Officials accuse Alexander Ayanov, a Russian national working on behalf of the Russian Federal Security service of using political groups across the U.S. to spread pro-Russia propaganda and interfere with local elections. One of the groups that they are accused of targeting is the Uhuru House here in St. Petersburg. Federal investigators say Uhuru was used to spread Russian propaganda and to influence local elections. So far, members of the movement have strongly denied the accusations. The facts and circumstances surrounding this indictment are some of the most egregious and blatant violations we've seen by the Russian government in order to destabilize and undermine trust in American democracy. Their explanation for this attack is this absurd fabrication of our party and leaders being some puppets for the Russian government. But we know this isn't true. Members of the Uhuru movement are expected to give us an update at noon today on what they know about this FBI investigation. And of course, I've reached out to the FBI directly to see if they will give us an update on where this investigation stands. Live in St. Petersburg, Nicole Rogers, 8 on your side.